So, uh, our next speaker, uh, right from the famous sunny beach of Finland, <laughs> please uh, warmly welcome Mati Paksula. Thank you. The especially warm and sunny Finland. Sorry? We saw all this sun and warmth. Oh, okay. Yes, that's because I was in sauna <laughs> two hours ago. You know, one thing we have in common is that we both like saunas, right? Is this also one? Okay. Um, I was told that I need to use this. I hate this. Okay, so hello. My name is Matti. I come from Finland. Can you all tell me your names? <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, so I'm at Twitter. I'm, I'm Matti Boxola. Uh, I've been doing Ruby and Rails uh, since 2005. And uh, 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 uh. in 2010, uh, I was the reason why Rails 2.3.10 was released, because I found a bug. Um, then, professionally, I've been a software architect at Nokia. You know, back in the days when Nokia was still big. And then the stupid phone came out. Uh, then something, 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 and for the last six years I've been a CTO of AppGyver, rhymes with MacGyver. Do you know that series? Some, yes, one, two, okay. Good, I did that for six years, and now I'm a co-founder and CTO of supervisor.com. And on GitHub, I'm Matti. Uh, let's see my GitHub over there. That's me. And you can see that I have 269 repositories. That's because I don't do backups. I just put everything in GitHub. <laughs> uh, you can also see my, my presentation about Superbar is here on top. Then uh, you find crazy shit down there. Like if you type in potis or potis, as you know, Americans say. Americans say that my name is Maddie. It's not Maddie, it's Matti. Okay? So this is potis, not padis. Okay, uh, something I did some time ago. It's an SVG uh, interaction library. And here's two baskets. And when you click this basket, there's a long cut. You can move the long cut from the middle. From the tail, you can rotate it. And from the head, you can scale it. So now you can put this long cut in this another basket. The basket got bigger. Let's release some more long cuts. <laughs> Let's put this one on sideways. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of hard to talk with this mic on the hand and use the mouse, you know. Hop and hop like that. And now when I double click, all the cats are released. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Okay. Um, about my company, uh, I just started this. We got this domain. It wasn't cheap. <laughs> and if you go there, we say that how many real visitors your site can handle. So currently, we're not targeting developers, although I'm a developer myself. Uh, what we currently do is we measure how many real actual users your website can handle by using real browsers that go in the site, they click, they wait, they think, they click, right. Pretty stupid, right? Okay. But nobody does this. Everybody just hammers down the APIs with JMeter or whatever. Load testing, they say. All right. Um, for the developers, this is going to be a massive platform for uh, running real browsers. It will be completely free when you have it locally on your laptop. And there's nice and easy and cheap cloud option coming up. 
I don't know yet how it's going to be priced, but it will be cheap because I know developers don't want to pay much. Uh, it will support Python, Node, Golang, C++, Haskell, BrainFuck, and whatever fuck you can program with. <laughs> but mostly, Ruby has the best support because I love Ruby. Let's give a big hand to Ruby. No? Thank you. Ruby is awesome. Uh, so let's talk about Ruby for browser testing. Why especially Ruby there? So how many of you have used uh, JavaScript browser testing? Good. Have you used Puppeteer? Okay, it's by Google. Small company. Uh, so it looks like like this. So you launch a browser and then you open a page and go to, but what the fuck is this? <laughs> and once we get over that, what are these things? It's ugly, okay? Uh, Kabubara, how many of you have used Kabubara? Woo! Woo! You know how it looks like, it's so nice. In an example like this, in reality it's different. Then, to be fair, there are new JavaScript libraries, like this one, but still, what the fuck are these? <laughs> so, Kabubara has some problems. First of all, it's stupid. Because if you yeah. do that, it doesn't work. How many of you have been banging your head against your keyboard? One, okay. Then it's also verbose, like you have to find A with the text, the element, and then element.click. I know what they're after, this is object-oriented, but it's very verbose to write. And it's hard to configure. And by hard, I mean just look at Stack Overflow. It's full of these kind of unknown new and blah, 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 how did I solve this, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, and for me, I think the biggest problem is that it's not standalone. You need something else, RSpec or something like that to run it, right? Or it, that's how it's usually done. Sorry. It can, but most of the time it, it's not done like that. So, <clears throat> introducing Superbara. Superbara is a dialect of Kabibara, so whatever there is in Kabibara works also in Superbara. But also this works. <laughs> Took years for me to do that. <laughs> and then you can write it in much more non-verbose way, like click A, blah, blah, blah. For some reason, this doesn't work in Kabubara. Uh, and there's nothing to con configure, absolutely nothing. You just install the gem, and you're good to go. And there's one more thing I have to remember to say. Uh, I'm going to do this after the talk, because I'm rewriting this as a super bot. And, uh, it will be living here, it's already live there, in Superbot HQ, in GitHub. It will consist of multiple gems, and this is kind of micro-gem architecture. And, um, yeah, so Superbot will, uh, will not completely replace everything. The, it will be the CLI tool, so in terminal you can say Superbot, and then Superbara will be the DSL part. When I was doing this, I got them two mixed up. And the most important reason is that the Superbot will support any language in the world, including BrainFuck. Um, demo, and as usual, let's pray to the demo gods.
What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> I'm ready. Sorry, I, I can't I can't talk like this. Okay, good. All right, so Superbar shell. Superbar is the CLI currently. So when you launch that, it launches a browser for you, like that. And then I have to cheat. I have to find my notes. What I wanted to talk about. Okay. So usually with Kabibara, you do something like this. You say find. Oh, by the way, this is a console, so you can do maths here. Like one plus one, two. Okay. So find a. CSS selector A, stands for link. When you do this, it says ambitious match on three elements. Okay, how many of you have seen this in Kabibara? Everybody, okay. So which are those? When you say all A, Superbara will show you there in the browser, they're turning red. So naturally, of course, you can show this now by find a match symbol first, right? Like that. Okay, and then when you run that, it shows that this is the exact match. And then if we work, show some other things like find all a, then you can have that dot last. And then which one is the last? Last dot show. Boom. Boom. I also added middle. So it shows the middle. And while at it, just let's just click random. So first it finds them and then it clicks random. Okay, we got to this page. Uh, then we can scroll down by saying scroll one percent percent but it, because the, it's pretty long scrolls pretty much so let's scroll a bit less like that then you can adjust things like duration within three seconds okay so how do we go scroll backwards exactly this is obvious <laughs> boom in Kabibara, how do you go back? No way. No way. There is a way. It's go underscore back. <laughs> so, and then go underscore forward. But why not just back? Like in Superbara. Back, <laughs> forward. Whoa, not that. Forward. And then naturally reload. I don't even know what's, what could possibly reload in Kabibara because they are not very intuitive. It's possible, it's possible and it's something like maybe page browser. Refresh. Page, browser. Who remembers that? Reload. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going forward. How many times has this happened? Like you minimize the browser and you know that it still you know, works. So. If you if you are like looking, where's my browser? You can say, focus, boom. Um, okay, so let's go to root. So here's the nice H1 element. Uh, let's find it. Find H1. Okay, let's put that variable, el equals find H1. El dot things like dot location gives you the coordinates, not in Kabibara. El.path gives you the xpath, and so on. So these small things I've been adding here randomly to make my life easier as a tester. Um, okay, so now you understand how this works. Let's make a real test. And since I come from Finland, uh, let's test some Finnish sites. So you will learn some Finnish as we go, okay? Uh, in another terminal, I just quit this, okay. I have folder meditation and main.rb. And it's 
the smallest test you can possibly do, right? Just visit. By the way, no require, no include, no, no nothing. And then let's uh, run this. So superbara start meditation. There we go. It run our test. It's here in the console. So let's book some train tickets. Let's go to the vr.fi. It's Valtion Rautatiet in Finnish. So now you learned that. So it's there. There's also link RU that might help some of you, but let's not click that because you want to learn Finnish now. Okay. So uh, what I want to show you. Yeah, so here's mistä, it's from, minne, uh, to. So naturally, if you want to fill this in, in Kabibara, you would do something like, you would open the developer tools, and then you would select the element, and then here, right click, copy, selector. Now it's in my clipboard, so I can find just that. There it was. Okay, good. So let's replace find with click only available in Superbar. Click, it brings our focus there. So now we can type with uh, Helsinki. So just type Hels. Then it shows a list. And I say type symbol down. It goes down. Then type tab. Go to the next tab index. One more. So now you know how to search uh, train tickets. So, because this is stupid, let's do everything with keyboard by saying type tab colon health colon down colon tab colon tab colon. Do you know any other cities than Helsinki from Finland? Turk. And let's see what happens. Health, down, tab, tab, turk. Okay. And then if we select that with down, it works. Okay. So now, do you know how all the great software is done? You probably know. When you know something works, you copy paste it. <laughs> okay. So all the good stuff we already know that we know and love like visit vr.fi, I copy and paste. Then let's copy that, put it here. But unlike in Kabubara, visit is not synchronous because it can take very long time for the page assets to load. So in Superbara, visit is asynchronous. So then you can naturally solve this by adding a sleep or we can put a wait. So wait for three seconds max for this block to yield true. And how do you check in Kabubara for text in the page? Ha I, I, there are probably more, many ways. Has text maybe. Sorry? Okay. So katso aika tolutti osta junalipu. Check the time tables and buy a train ticket. So if we just check for this aikataulut, timetables, that should be enough. So this will wait maximum of three seconds for this string to exist, and then it will continue. Okay. Um, let's save. And now when we have saved it, in the console, we can hit R for reload. The R and it's working. Magic. Okay. So let's finalize this test. I think something like down, then probably a couple of enters to get it going. And reload again. It's searching, loading, and we got our tickets, or at least the timetable. Okay. So now you have seen how Superbar development workflow works. Uh, this wait 
can also be used so that if you wanna find for something, like find h1, it will try it for three seconds and then it will return. So you can do something like this. And if it doesn't find it, then it will throw an exception. Okay. Let's continue. How am I on time? What's that? 10 minutes? 15 minutes, okay. But you know, when I've been developing this thing, I have realized the naming is really hard. So I just explained to you how this weight works and it raises an exception. So what if you don't want to raise an exception? Like optionally. So I was flying here yesterday and I was thinking of this and what, what do you think about might? Eh. Eh. Maybe. <laughs> Your idea. It just continues and returns nil and doesn't raise an exception. Well, I was you in 2019, in 2018, I would raise exception. I went with guys uh, with five guests around your show. And then your code starts to look horrible. <laughs> the thing is, if you don't want to react to errors, it's your fault. I know. Okay, maybe, maybe for us because we are all coders. But I want to keep this kind of like very English-like and I'm not afraid to have multiple different ways. Like in Perl, Perl is a wonderful language because you can do one thing in so many ways. Anyway, sorry? I don't know yet, I'm thinking. Try. <laughs> but try is not a reserved word, not in Ruby, which is awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good for developers and let's definitely do that. But for rest of us, uh, rest of us are, uh, somewhere else than in this room. Okay, uh, one more thing. I have something upcoming I want to show you, and let's again pray to the demo gods. This is much faster demo. Won't keep you for too long. Uh, I go here. I hit enter here. Something happens in my local computer. Okay. And then I go here and hit enter. So this is a prototype of the same thing, but it's all in browser. You don't have to install anything, no Ruby. <laughs> so here you can do maths, one plus one, two. <laughs> okay, hello dot reverse Oleg. And there's a, apparently a bug. Now you can see, okay. <laughs> so here, here's VS code embedded. You can type in here, like visit example.com hit run code, it goes there. A browser in a browser, how nice. <laughs> There's back and forward, reload, back, forward, back, forward. Okay, you get it. So, so then let's see how it works here. So let's go to google.com and we are at google.com. Okay, so let's, if we wanna click something, we have to find it and it's so horrible to open the developer tools, right? So why not just click inspector, get it open immediately, click here, and it injects that nice CSS selector for you automatically. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, but, but isn't this horrible, this string? Would it be better to just click images? So let's do an image. Uh, I have no idea what these letters even mean. What does it say here? I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Okay, let's click that. 
because it fits to the theme if the demo gods are with us. So let's make a lucky.png plus. We select this. We got an image. Lucky.png is that. We go here. We say click image lucky.png. And now I just add stupid sleep here for the demo and I hit run code. Please, demo gods. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, it will play the. Okay, okay. Okay, by the way, I'm hiring great Ruby developers. Not too many, I don't have too much money. <laughs> Thank you. Some questions? In Capybara, you can do basic authorization, authorization right? Not, uh, well. I have to do that then. Let's talk later. Okay. <laughs> um, a couple of questions. Uh, the first one, um, uh, did you hear about Mechanize Jam? Mechanize? Uh, yes, I've heard. It's, yes. It looks uh, very similar, I think, for... Yeah, yeah, it's deep. I don't think so. I think it's not. <laughs> you, 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 you guys, okay. you guys okay. continue okay. later. Um, and the second question: um, Can I use super super bar or super bot in system tests? What's a system test? Um, it's integration tests, feature tests, uh, and also in Rails 5.2. You don't need uh, to do all this stuff for setup in Capybara. It will works. It will work in out of the box. So sure, this is sure. Cool. So I can use Capybara and Superbot in feature tests, right? Yes. I can use this API, and then I I, I can use uh, just matchers for checking some expectations, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. But I will delete Superbara after this presentation. Yeah. Yeah. It will be yes. Super what? Super girl. Super girl? I thought these kind of factory girls and these kind of things are, are, are not okay. Um, thank you. Uh, does you it have work? Google Class? Yes. <laughs> Woo! The uh, first person I ever seen. <laughs> does Can I try them later? Uh, sorry. Can I try them? Um, Your class. No, uh, right now not, but I can turn it on. <laughs> okay, so so uh, does Superbar works with Internet Explorer? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that every time I talk about this, there's this does this work with Internet Explorer? And the answer is yes, because it uses uh, remote, remote blah 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 blah. So if you can have your Internet Explorer behind Selenium API, aka WebDriver, it will work. But I'm not directly supporting it because I don't. I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't want to. What about uh, Netscape? <laughs> if if you if you do the Selenium driver interface for Netscape or Mosaic or or whatever, <laughs> or Lynx. But I I, I uh, it's a very it's a very good question. Seriously, uh, there are so many tools that solve that, and I'm more focused on kind of functional testing or maybe system testing than Internet Explorer. Who needs that? Well, but it's open source. Please do it. Uh, just pull request. <laughs> so thank you very much. We have a short break. And uh, also, you can ask some other questions. And I will be at the after party. Woo! <laughs>